beautiful day out here, right? Look at the flowers. It's sure. Gorgeous. We're standing on a slope uh, just south of Cache Creek in uh, southern interior of British Columbia. And it's um, a very dry landscape and uh, mountainous terrain around us. And I think it's a, a, a good illustration of why British Columbia is quite often referred to as an excellent outdoor laboratory to study soil science and soil formation and the processes that lead to the formation of a range of different soils. Uh, Kent, do you want to kind of tie this in to the uh, Canadian system of soil classification and um, the processes that are involved there? Yeah, as you said, our uh, BC is quite unique. We have a range of elevations. We have mountainous terrain, we have plateaus. So we have different topographies. We also have different climate regimes based on the, the, the climate patterns going over mountains. So we get all kinds of different variability in terms of climates to start with. But because the province has been mostly glaciated, we also have a whole wide range of parent materials. So we have a whole suite of different parent materials. So climate, different parent materials, different topographies will lead to different soil uh, orders that we have in the Canadian system of soil classification. We have 10 soil orders in our classification in the Canadian system, and each of these orders is found in a specific environment related to climate, topography, parent materials, etc. Also, each order has a diagnostic horizon associated with it. And these diagnostic horizons develop via soil forming processes that take place within the soil environment itself. We have four broad uh, processes, uh, additions to the soil, losses from the soil, translocations or movements in the soil, and transformations or changes that take place within the soil profile. Within that, we have a series of sub-processes that take place, or specific processes that take place which lead to the development of these diagnostic horizons that, are, that occur in our, in our classification system. So understanding the processes that take place within the soil helps us understand how the soil formed and the properties that go along with that particular soil order.